What's up, YouTube? Tops85401 here, doing another PC showcase, starting off with Will Clark. Got a bunch of his rookie cards here, including the 87 Opeachy and Leaf, both. I forgot that was in the uh, highlight set, Will Clark. I guess technically it would be a, well, it's a rookie year card. I don't know if it's really considered a rookie card. Will Clark was in a lot of box sets in 86. He entered the league with a big bang. Of course, member of the San Francisco Giants, so one of my all-time favorite Giants. I was in high school when he was really at the uh, peak of his career. Man, I love all these shiny Donruss cards. Just classic. These cards bring back so many memories. Remember loving pulling those out of packs of 88 Donruss. Fantastic cards here. And all those old Fleer All-Star inserts for the win. Love the 88 Fleer Mini. 88 Fleer is one of my favorite sets just in general. Love those 88 Fleers. And then do have some contemporary cards like that 84 Tops look. That one's kind of cool, the 59 Tops look. So some cool ones there as well. I don't have any real high-end Will Clark cards. I do have a few... In my uh, stars box, th these are my binder cards. I typically don't put my super valuable cards in the. Well, like I was saying in my last video, pretty much all the cards in my binders are pretty much not really worth anything. They're just fun to collect. I should send this one in TTM to have Will Clark signed for me. Maybe I'll do that someday. This one would look cool signed as well. That tall boy, that's a cool card. And what a classic one there from 1990 score. Will Clark, he had some pretty nice looking cards. Love that studio from Don Russ, that one as well. Of course, that one there. He he had some cool looking cards. They put him in a lot of nice sets back in like the late 80s, early 90s. Some more there. And this is not an exclusive Will Clark showcase, just so you guys know. I also have my Hall of Fame catchers in this binder along with Matt Williams. <laughs> so it's like one of those binders where I ran out of room in other binders. So I just created this one and I put kind of a random mix of players in it. So there we go with Will Clark. Yes, he played with Texas. And I think he finished his career with St. Louis. That's a bootlegged garage door custom from the eighties because <laughs> Will Clark was not featured in the 85 Tops Olympic set. That's a cool one there from Panini. Look at that shine. Man, that's a nice shiny one right there. Look at all that etching for the win. And then that one I pulled out of out of a pack when I ripped some packs about a week ago, I guess. So I found a spot for it in my binder here. Now moving along to Matt Williams. And again, these are all unique. I'm sure many of them are um, like glossy parallel or whatever. Like here are the tops and the Tiffany or maybe a couple of rookie reprints. I'm not sure. But we got Matt Williams. He was always a fan favorite. Any Giants fan will remember how awesome Matt Williams was. Those late 80s, early 90s teams. Oh, man. What are my favorite ones here? Oh, that's a cool one there, but he's with Cleveland. Like all of his higher end inserts and stuff are later in his career when he play, played with teams other than the Giants. But that's the way it goes, right? I like that one, the uh, 96 Tops Chrome All Star card. That's a refractor. That's a pretty cool looking card. Some Dufex action on the top there from Pinnacle. Some more cool ones. Now, now we're going, moving on to the Hall of Fame catcher. So I got Pudge Rodriguez. Another one of the Hall of Famers that I'm pretty confident used PEDs. There was a season, this is just an incredible statistic. I can't remember what season and exactly what the numbers were. 
But I do know that there was a season where Pudge Rodriguez had more stolen bases than bases stolen against him, which is absolutely incredible. I mean, catchers typically can't steal bases. <laughs> so to have more personal stolen bases than bases stolen against you is just ridiculous. He's a great ball player. And then we go um, moving on to Mike Piazza. Another steroid user, in my opinion. Probably pretty much a fact, but right now it's my opinion. And he's also in the Hall of Fame. But that's this video isn't really about that. I just, I don't know. Sometimes I point it out when I get, get uh, see a Hall of Famer in a binder. And I think that they were using PEDs in their playing days. But it doesn't really change my opinion of the player because in that era, pretty much everybody was doing it. There we go with uh, Carlton Fisk. OP. Original Pudge, right? <laughs> I don't ever remember calling Carlton Fisk Pudge when I was a kid. I only remember calling Yvonne Rodriguez Pudge. There we go. Now we got Gary Carter. He had a pretty good career, ended it, well, towards the end of his career, of course, he played with the Giants. There we go, a nice-looking Giants card to Gary Carter. Mostly known for his days at the Expos and the Mets. And then we got some Johnny Bench, arguably the best catcher of all time. Not, not, not my opinion. In my opinion, he's not the best catcher of all time. However, arguably, he is. A lot of people will make the argument that he is the best catcher of all time. I don't know that I could really tell you exactly who I think the best catcher is. Here we go with uh, Yogi Berra. Then we got Roy Campanella. Both those guys are pretty damn good catchers. And then my favorite catcher, and perhaps arguably the best catcher of all time, even though I never got to play in MLB, just an unbelievable talent, Josh Gibson. And I think I got, oh, uh, that rounds out this binder here. So we got the Hall of Fame catchers. And a couple of Giants greats that did not make the Hall of Fame. Guys, comment down below. Let me know what you think, and until always, or and as always, and until always, as always, until next time, happy collecting!